Hi, I'm Emma Lou, the creative director for Heartfelt Creations. Today I'm bringing you a technique using the stamp paint to create a mixed media background. You're using some shimmer, creating a fun, fast background for those main images that you already have. So join me, we'll learn this together and have some fun along the way. To create this textured background, you're going to want to stamp whichever image you like onto a glossy piece of cardstock. You want to make sure it's glossy so that the stamp paint doesn't just soak through. Once you've done that, lay that aside and you'll prep your paint area. So to get started, I have this piece, this is just a glossy piece of cardstock and I'm just going to spray a bunch of water on there. I want to make sure that it's pretty wet and then I'll go um, onto this piece and I'll start creating my palette. So I'll just dab some of my um, teal on here. This is the stamp paint. The stamp paint is great to work with if you want to have a shimmer. It dries pretty quickly. You just want to make sure that you don't have any um, too much of a glob for this pattern. So I'm just making sure that it, my sponges are very wet and I'm just creating that palette. So put some red on there and then we'll go into copper. Now you can experiment with any of the colors that you like to create this background combination. So the next step is I have a piece of clear cardstock and I'm going to just spray it with water. So this is very wet. Then I'll take the colors that I just laid onto this paper and I will tap them onto this collage. So just go in with some of the aqua, some of the green. I just kind of randomly sponge that all over. It actually is a little bit foamy at this point. I don't really know why it foams up, but it just does that. So adds a mixture of red. So every background comes out differently. Um, I'm just going to add a little bit of copper. I'm just going to sponge that off here. I think I want to add a little bit more aqua in there. That kind of lightens it up a little bit. We'll do that. So kind of just create a background. Once it looks right, just go back and spray that some more. You want it pretty wet. That kind of helps um, the, it run a little bit more. And then I'm going to take this background and just rub it in here. So just kind of rub it around and that will automatically just color that background. Now if you see that it kind of is, it has that line in there, what you can do is go back and just kind of spray that out a little bit. So that is one way that you can add color. Now if you want to have it darker, like something like this is a little bit darker, what we'll do a different technique. So this is ready to just lay aside. You kind of have that shimmery marbled effect, so we'll lay that aside to dry. And my next step is I'll bring this in and I'm just going to lay this on top of my clear cardstock. Actually, I'll lay that aside. Okay, so let's bring a little bit more of the copper onto this palette. A little bit more of the red, the green, and a little bit of the aqua. Okay, so this technique is more of a direct to the paper. You'll just want to make sure that your color is really sprayed out here. So we'll tap on and then just kind of lightly tap over this background. You see that? And this one, I guess this sponge is a little bit mixed with the copper and the aqua, but that's okay. Just kind of do a random technique with that. Then let's do the red. Let's kind of fill in that color. So you can kind of see how you're getting a fast color on the background. So you can kind of really pick and choose what colors that you want to work with. And that was the copper. Let's do a little bit more of the red. And then we'll want to add some green. Let's make sure that this is, I want, like to make sure that there's not too much on my sponge. Otherwise it kind of clumps up and doesn't look as good. First time you do this, it might feel a little bit awkward, but just practice makes perfect and there's no um, right or wrong way. You're kind of being your own artist. So this one looks really good just like that, but if you wanted to, you could go back and just spray that a little bit and just sponge some more. That will kind of make that run. But this stamp paint dries very quickly, so you can go back and um, add more if you like and just kind of create a palette that you are comfortable with. So as you can see, every palette comes out differently and you can use the embossing technique and all that fun stuff with it. So when you're doing this at home, make sure that your sponge is pre-moistened with water to make sure that the paint does not smudge on your cardstock. 
So to do the flower tips like we did on this card, I just added, used the water that I'd sprayed on my sponge and just added some stamp paint to the tips of the flowers. This adds a nice shimmer. It's very quick and easy. And it's how we get that light shimmer on a lot of our flowers. So you can see on this card, we use that time background and then we just added those little clock faces with the little sponge flowers to the top. Have fun creating your own backgrounds in your studio. Experiment with different colors and I think you'll have a lot of fun. Thank you so much for joining me today and we will see you next time.